Coverage you can count on begins with changes coming to Columbia County schools in the fall. The Board of Education approving 23 new armed school safety officers, as well as the addition of more special education professionals. News Channel 6's Ann Maxwell spoke with the superintendent and the school board chair today. The decision to add more security comes in the wake of recent violence in schools. And the new plan to hire more educators will result in fewer paraprofessionals, but school leaders tell me no one will be getting fired. Columbia County Schools will be a little different next year. Each of the district's 31 school buildings will be guarded by an armed school safety officer. Tuesday, the Board of Education voted to hire 23 officers, up from the 10 they have now. And of course, every time there is a, a, a tragic event like in Florida, it causes us to consider what we do to provide a safe, positive environment for our students. And so, yes, this is in response to our recognized need that society has changed. The additional positions will cost about $1.1 million, plus about 11 or 12,000 per officer for their arms and other things they need. And they're not just hiring anyone off the street. Superintendent Dr. Sandra Carraway says the officers are required to have at least five years of law enforcement experience. Our um, officers, while they don't act as deputies or police officers, they have all of the training, all of the skills, all of the knowledge and experience that our police officers do. So who's paying for this? The BO the chairman tells us they're hoping to receive more money from the state, but they're also expecting to pay for the officers with an increase in the county's tax digest, as well as cost savings in other areas. In another move, the BOE voted to increase the number of certified trained staff while reducing the number of paraprofessionals in elementary schools. Paraprofessionals help teachers out with things like lunchroom and car duty, as well as helping kids who may be falling behind. The trade-off comes to keep the move budget neutral, but Dr. Carraway says it's actually a win-win because kids in need will have more resources and no parapros will lose their job. The district is expecting the natural turnover rate, as well as about two dozen current vacant positions, to make the transition without anyone getting a pink slip. Paraprofessionals are wonderful resources for our schools and we certainly value them. But when we're seeking to meet the needs of our learners, especially learners who struggle, particularly in the area of reading and mathematics, we recognize that there are times when having a trained, certified teacher in that position working with those children is of a greater benefit to our neediest learners. Again, these changes are set to go into effect in the upcoming school year. And even with reductions, the system will still have about 70 paraprofessionals. Jenny?